Testing for BPPV can be carried out by observing the patient's eyes directly. No other equipment is necessary. Other recording devices or observational methods may be used in an appropriate setting. For example, Frenzel glasses may be used to observe the effect on nystagmus of removing visual fixation. Electronystagmography, or ENG, can be used to record nystagmus with or without visual fixation. Video nystagmography will also record and analyse eye movements, again, with or without fixation. However, neither of these latter techniques quantify torsional eye movements, such as those seen in posterior and anterior canal BPPV. Three-dimensional recording systems do exist, but are not in routine clinical use. Therefore, even when using ENG or VNG, the eye movement should be observed by the tester to correctly diagnose BPPV. Any test should be explained carefully to the patient to obtain informed consent. Sometimes it helps to demonstrate. Proceed with caution if the patient has any history of neck pain or injury. The test procedure may need to be amended. Try to test the better ear first if there are any clues in the history. It prepares the patient for testing on the involved side and allows the treatment to be incorporated into the testing if the second side is positive. If the patient gives a typical history of recent symptoms, it is worth repeating the test even if it's initially negative.